Let's look at empathy. This is one of my one of the areas I think that can't be underestimated when it comes to telling a good innovation story, making sure it hits at a gut level, making sure that you're representing diverse voices inside your innovation story. And here's, here's a quick example I want to share. I've, I've got three examples. Um, first of all, uh, we, this, is, uh, this is some content from a, a landscape report, a sort of competitor landscape report we wrote for a client. And we focused on the company Color Genomics, which is a content powerhouse. If you haven't followed some of the work that they're doing, uh, they, are, they essentially came up with the first diagnostic genetic I'm sorry, not diagnostic, genetic test to screen for a very deadly form of breast cancer. And the CEO, Othman Lakari, he shares this personal story, especially about why he created color and why he goes to work every day. And his mother um, actually died of breast cancer. And so he, he shared the story with whoever he can. Um, and the interesting thing is, lore has it, there are a lot of articles about this, that the CEO of Levi Strauss was sitting next to Othman on an airplane. And Othman told him his personal story. And in the matter of that one flight, the CEO of Levi Strauss made the decision to offer genetic testing and genetic resources through color to all of Levi Strauss's employees. And I love that story because I think it just speaks to the power of knowing your why and being able to communicate it to the people that, that might be able to support or champion or buy in or become customers for your work. Color also has other thought leaders. They, again, I say they're a content powerhouse because they're publishing um, all the time and presenting all the time. And those presentations are not just marketing style presentations. They're oftentimes scientific or technical or obviously that they're dealing with medical issues. So Alicia Zhu, who is their head of research, she recently gave a TED talk and it's really for her, that TED talk was a lot about her personal experience being a woman in STEM. And so that's her big why is helping inspire young girls to see themselves and the potential that they have to become scientists. And so really not just thinking about innovation storytelling is only being about your products. Sometimes it's okay and it's, and it's very effective to make, to make sure you know your why and that you show and build empathy um, and connection and relatability by, by showing your own story.